Hey you, welcome to Wawa Week. In celebration of the channel reaching 1 million subscribers. What do you mean I'm late? I'm not late. I'm going to be uploading one video every day for this whole week. On top of that, this is also the release of the official Wadzi merch. Get yourself the limited 1 million edition Wawa Army merch today. Go to represent.com forward slash Wadzi. You can get yourself a shirt, hoodie, long sleeve, even hats in either black or white, whichever you prefer. It's only available for purchase for the next two weeks. So if you want to show off that you're a part of the Wawa Army and you helped us reach 1 million subscribers, subscribers, make sure to act fast. Go to represent.com forward slash Wadzi. The link is at the top of the description. Everybody knows that the number one rule in Minecraft is to never dig straight down. So today we're digging straight down to the extreme. In this video, I'm going to dig a really big hole. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Before this video begins, I'd just like to thank you all for 1.5 million subscribers. That is actually an incredible number. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and help me reach my goal of 2 million subscribers in the future. Also, as it turns out, I recorded this entire video without Microphone any mic video. audio. So sit down and just let me tell you the story of how I dug a really big hole. And this video shout out is coming from Twitter. Thank you to this person, you're an absolute legend. G'day guys, my name is Wadzi and welcome to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft. Yes, this is all a voiceover because here's what the footage actually sounds like. That's right, I have no mic audio for the whole video, so this whole thing is going to be a voiceover. As always in the hardcore episodes, we started off with planting another 200 melons to the farm. Nothing too serious, just a nice, relaxing amount of melons to get yourself warmed up, ready to play some Minecraft. Wow, look at this technique with the bucket. Send this man to the melon planting championships. Now that I'm done with that, if you want to see how big this melon farm ends up getting, make sure to subscribe to keep following along with the series. And now let's get into the rest of the episode. So for the first little project of this video, I wanted to create an automatic smelting room. A few episodes back, we made this automatic bamboo farm, and you could say it's been working pretty well. Like, I've got a bit of bamboo. I figured instead of letting all this bamboo go to waste, we should actually put it to a good use, and bamboo in this quantity can make great fuel for smelting stuff. So I started off first by digging out the room. After leaving to get more supplies and digging out more of the room, I started making our smelting contraption. Pretty much I just placed a bunch of hoppers that continuously funneled bamboo into these furnaces. Although the bamboo burns really quickly, as you can see here it ends up getting filled up faster than we can actually use it all. The system was pretty simple, so all we had left to do now was to make the area look nicer. After a short while, we got the finished result. This smelting room is definitely going to be super helpful for our world, especially when we need a bunch of stone bricks and glass. I was happy enough with how it all looked, which meant we could now move on to the main project for today, digging a really big hole. The number one rule everyone tells you when you play Minecraft is to never dig straight down. Well, I listen to nobody. Well, maybe it's not quite as dangerous as everybody says it is. However, I wanted to take digging straight down to the extreme and dig the biggest hole you've ever seen. Okay, that's definitely an exaggeration, but this thing was going to be kind of big. As you can see, I started off with this stencil of a circle, and this was the area I was going to dig all the way down to bedrock. We got off to an alright start while we were digging dirt, but it was after I had to dig up some stone that I realized this was actually going to take a while. And unless I wanted to be here for forever, I needed to do something to speed things up. So I went and yoinked a beacon. With a level 4 beacon we could get haste 2, which would make breaking through stone just as easy as butter. The 
The early stages of this project were really straightforward. I figured out that digging coal was going to be kind of helpful to repair our mending pickaxe, but unfortunately we couldn't find enough of it to keep our pickaxe full durability. After making a decent start, our pickaxe was starting to get really low. He needs some milk! So I decided to make a trip to my enderman farm to quickly repair all my tools. The first trip of many. Everything was going completely normal until we got a visit from a wandering trader. After contemplating it for a while, I decided to let him live down here for as long as he could survive. As long as he didn't try to kill me or anything. Oh my god! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly why you always keep a bottle of fire resistance on you when playing hardcore Minecraft especially when digging a hole straight down. I made myself a couple more fire resistance potions just in case this happened again and I got straight back to digging. At this point we were roughly at about Y level 50 and we had to dig all the way down to the top level of bedrock which is at Y5. Although a little inconvenient we had to dig through some obsidian and I thought it was kind of cool getting to see just how fast we can mine this stuff with the haste 2 buff. Yo you wanna see some real speed bitch? I mean pretty fast right? Not too much later we dug into a cave, which was actually really helpful because it meant there were a bunch of blocks we wouldn't have to dig. We were slowly getting faster and faster at digging through these layers, and at one point I even managed to get some help from a creeper. I sat back for a moment and admired my work so far, and at this moment I realised that two slime had spawned at the bottom of my pit. I wish I had my reaction for this because I was genuinely so excited to discover that we had dug directly on top of a slime spawning chunk, and this opens up the possibility of maybe transforming this thing into a slime farm. As we reach Y20 and we get ever so closer to being finished digging this big hole, you may be starting to ask yourself why. What's the point? And to be honest, I'm still trying to figure that out myself. When it comes down to it, I just really have a love for doing dumb things. And although this is on a smaller and easier scale to previous things I've done, I really enjoy doing things that are unnecessary and take a bunch of time. Digging this hole took me back to when I spent hours just doing nothing but planting melons, just to have a bigger melon farm than laser beam. Or the same thing when I spent forever mining iron to make a hundred iron golems instead of just using an iron farm. Although there may not seem like much point to this, and this video may not be the best, you ask why, I ask why not. We're now below Y16 which meant we were at the level where we could finally discover some diamonds. And we were also really close to being done. And just like that, we were done. We had dug a giant hole straight down all the way to bedrock. Now I'm very open to suggestions with what we should do with this giant hole, so leave a comment down below. But for now, I had a few ideas of how I could make it a lot more aesthetically pleasing than just a giant hole on the ground. So first, we'd have to head off to the desert. So we arrived in the desert so we could do some more digging and dig up a bunch of sand to make some glass. Already we had found good use for our brand new smelting room. But other than glass, I also wanted to add some spruce wood to this build, so I also head off to chop down some trees. Now that we had grabbed all our materials, it was time to make a transformation.
I'm back with a microphone, finally. Guys, I'm so, so sorry about this video. I know it's kind of a disappointment. I feel like we've kind of made it into something somewhat watchable, though. I hope you enjoyed watching, regardless of all the technical difficulties. Yeah, here, here is the hole we made. I think it looks pretty epic. Let's try and get a good bird's eye view of this thing. I mean, hell yeah, look at that thing. We made that. And that's the end of this disaster of a video. If you did enjoy this video, I'd think you'd also like the other stuff I make because this video sucks. So consider subscribing. <laughs> and just a reminder, this is day five of Wawa Week. Day six will be once again on the second channel, Wad Tui. So make sure to go subscribe to that channel as well. And with that, I'll catch you tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs>